Happy Bulls cracking. 360. Hey, Jack's the building. But I was just here to talk a little bit about um, the E53. This E53 and the snow is amazing. You know, I've had trucks. I had all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive trucks. I've never had an all-wheel drive car before. This car brings almost the best of both worlds. You know, I got somewhat power. You know, so it, ain't, it ain't crazy, crazy. I got a lot of luxury and comfort, and this motherfucker handles like a motherfucker. But if you um, the thing about it is, if if you hit the gas, because this is a bi turbo and bi is all wheel drive. I guess what they call bi is. I don't think they call bi turbo all wheel drive. But what's, what what that means is, why my heat go by itself? What that means is, if you punch it, you can spin them back tires. You know this is an all-wheel drive car. I can, you can, I made them trip. You know, I made them trip a little bit. It don't burn rubber like you know, like you know, you know, sports cars do. But it makes them trip. But the handling is ridiculous. You pulling corners in this motherfucker. You pushing, you pushing and pulling at the same time. So that's why it, it handles so well. It's just crazy, you know. I don't want to compare this car. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, and I can't compare this car to the uh, to the Corvette. But the Corvette is just a monster. It's always been, you know, for the time, for the time period. Right now, you know, what I had before, I had the C4, trash. Right now, straight trash. I would love to have that car still because you know it's almost, you know, it's, a, it's an antique. But I should have kept it a long time ago. But I didn't know. But um, at the time, back in the '80s. That car was fucking hot, you know? Shit, that shit was the man. I was the fucking man in that motherfucker. But now they got this new shit out with the rear engine in it, you know, the whole totally different design and everything. But my point is, you know, trying to compare that car to the Benz. So the only car that might even touch it, be close to it, is the um, S63. I think a 63 or 65, I'm not sure what it is. But, I don't think, I still don't believe that it would touch it. It would touch it in luxury all day long. I don't even know I can say handling. I don't even know if I would say handling. And not even in horsepower. Because I think they have the same amount of horsepower, if I'm correct. But the Corvette is a lot lighter and more aer aerodynamic. Um, plus, the fucking Benz is like $100,000 more. I think, that, I think that S63 is like 180,000 or something like that. I want to say. The new Corvette's a buck. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And the one I want, I think it's 98. I think I spec mine out to 98,000. The one that I'm I'm going to hopefully get someday. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just a little bit about the Benz. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never had an all wheel drive car before. This car handled very well in the snow. It's fucking amazing on gas. You know, the gas is good. I mean, unless I put it in sports mode and I fucking hammer it, if I'm on the gas all day long, this this, this tapping the gas, then obviously, you know, it's gonna burn fucking fuel. But if you ride like a normal human being, you know what I'm saying? You put it in comfort mode and just drive normal. Shit, I think, what was I getting? Is it on the board? It's not up there right now. But I was getting, let me see if I can find it. I was getting uh, 20 something miles to the gallon or some shit. Oh, yeah. oh, I can't change this while I'm driving? Now it just says average from start. I guess off of my start of the car, it says average from start 15.2. That's what I got in the city. And we'll see what happens when I get on the highway. I left my freaking mountain, my other car, 
to grab that shit. So I'm holding this. I figured I wasn't going nowhere or doing nothing this weekend, so you know, and I got different houses or different places in different in two different states, so you know, I got cars in one state, I got cars in another state. But anyways, I um like I said, I left my mountain the other car, but that's fine. I don't, oh no, I was saying that I'm not going anywhere this weekend. That's why I, um, that's why I didn't need my mom. That's why I left my mom. So, but as I was driving, I said, "Oh, you make a video." You know what I'm saying? So this is where we at. Holding them, holding the phone, because I don't even have my GoPro, and that's at my house. Um, usually I have that in my bag with me, but I left it. But I'm just trying. I'm just. I'm just babbling on right now because I'm trying to wait for my car to level out and then I can get an average speed for you. I'm gonna average miles per gallon for you guys. <clears throat> Before we call it a day. But I'm pulling a hill, so you know, obviously you pull a hill, your miles per gallon is a lot less. I'm getting 10, 10 miles per gallon right now. 10 miles to the gallon. 13 miles to the gallon. How's everybody doing out there today? I don't know what day it is when you say this video, but I'm making this video on Friday afternoon, boy. Yeah. All right, level one out, level one out. It said 150 miles per gallon, I wish. So as of right now, like I was saying earlier, it's 28, 28 miles a gallon. That's what I get. Average. Flatland, cruise control, 72 miles an hour. 28 miles a gallon. Boom, bang, bang. I'll keep you guys later on. Maybe I'll click it back on before I get to the trip. But I'm about to throw some beats on and enjoy this ride. Peace out. 360.